Amazon front and just in general business wise. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted to talk, uh, start out today and talk about uh, tariffs and uh, how people are, are kind of frightened of them and, and think that it's going to put them out of business or, or cause a lot of hardship. Um, that could be the case in the long run, but uh, short term, I don't think you really need to too, uh, worry about it. So some of the things you got to think about is uh, your competition's uh, paying that same tariff if they're importing and if they're getting from the U.S., they're probably already paying more than you were importing from China or you know India or wherever else it is uh, that you're importing from. Uh, so that's just something to think about. Uh, something else to think about is that um, because they are um, uh, most likely importing, they are going to have to raise their prices. So in turn, uh, that uh, that cost is going to be passed on to the consumer, and in turn, you'll be able to raise your prices as well. So if you know if your competitor raises their price by a buck, you can match that or whatever. That's just for an example. Um, something else to think about is um, you know how to hedge against uh, decline in the economy. You know the economy has been very strong for a while now. And uh, I'm starting to see signs that uh, next year we might start seeing a little bit of a decline. Uh, so I'm no expert, of course. This is just uh, my own personal opinion and what I'm seeing for my own business and my own self. Uh, so what you want to do is really hedge yourself against that downturn um, and kind of uh, try to think about or invest in products that uh, people need, uh, kind of essentials. You know, things like, uh, you know, you probably wouldn't do this, but uh, paper towels or toilet paper or you know, things that people absolutely need even when the economy's down because uh, the first things to go will be things that they don't quite need um, that are kind of like extra things, uh, things that they don't absolutely require on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so definitely something to think about. Um, also, uh, I've talked about this a lot before, but I want to reiterate, um, you should definitely be, um, you know, investing in other things. If you're, if you're making money on Amazon, that's great. Um, but you probably want to be maybe trying to reinvest that money somewhere else, um, you know, whether it's your own website or, um, you know, maybe a different, uh, you know, may maybe invest in a business locally where you live. If you can do that, um, just diversify um, and try to make the most out of the money you're making now, because when the times do come hard, the people that are prepared and uh, plan for that are going to be the ones that, uh, that are, that are uh, you know, doing the best. The ones that uh, don't think about that, they're going to be the ones that are going to have a hard time. So uh, just to reiterate, don't worry about tariffs um, and uh, definitely think about next year and the, and the years to follow. It uh, could be a little bit rough on the economy front. I think we're going to start seeing a, a decline. Um, I don't think it's going to be a, a, a huge uh, drop quickly. I think it's going to be a little bit more slow than, uh, than, the, than the last uh, decline. But uh, I definitely feel like uh, we're, we're on the down slope um, going into next year. And once again, this is Andy from SellerSEO.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I'm going to try to start doing more uh, short videos like this, uh, just kind of covering quick topics. Uh, drop them in the comments of this video. Uh, say, hey, next time I want uh, you know, I want to get your feelings on the uh, you know, best way to source for Q4 or um, you know, the best way to rank um, in Q4, things like that. And I'll uh, make sure that I, I try to cover those. And thanks a bunch. Have a great day.